Years and Years is a new show on the BBC from Russell T Davis. It's a six part show and it follows a sort of middle class family in England through I think approximately 35 years into the future. It starts in about 2020. Um, the first show jumps forward about five years. This is a show that interested me because of the futurist elements of it. Um, and obviously the quality of writing that Russell T Davis brings with him, if you like his kind of thing, so I know he's a, he can be in a bit of a quiet taste. Um, the family is made up of a gay couple, a heterosexual married couple with children, and a nan, um, and a daughter, sister, who's away abroad. Um, it's got a great cast, um, Emma Thompson plays a very extreme political figure who I will put money on is going to be Prime Minister by the end of the series or at some point. Um, you've got other people who've got, who is it, um, Rory Kinnear, uh, Russell Tovey, uh, spring to mind straight away and there's other people you'll be going, oh I recognise them, I recognise them, what were they on? Um, there are elements that you can see foreshadowed in the first episode such as there's a robot that someone uses for sex and it's a crap robot but you know that come the further the series goes into the future that robot will eventually become more realistic and it will probably start replacing people in relationships properly. Um, you've also got a Siri equivalent called Senor and one of the family, uh, their daughter wants to become digital even though you can't do it now you know that eventually she will most likely become the senior thing when she's uploaded to the internet. Um, that'll be interesting to see how they cope with that. Um, and then you've got a very young boy who I don't know what's going to happen to him yet but something I'm sure. Um, and you've got these tensions in the Far East where at the end of the first episode America had launched a nuclear attack against China. Um, the only thing I would say about that is that's fine and we'll see what happens to that but the preview at the end of the episode spoiled a element of tension where Jessica Hines, the daughter who was abroad in the Far East um, in Vietnam uh, protesting against the thing that started this missile attack you're not sure she's alive or not well within 10 seconds of thinking that she might be dead you're shown the preview where you're shown she's come straight home alive this is a good well written show, it's interesting, the only thing that didn't ring true was at the very end when there's a missile attack and Russell Tovey's character goes off to have an immediate affair uh, with a asylum seeker that he fancies. Um, there's obviously some sexual tension shown earlier in the episode but it never felt like it was something he would leave his husband for immediately and then go off and have sex with this guy over. Uh, it felt a bit forced but everything else feels quite natural they feel like a real family they have arguments they talk to each other and take the piss uh, and it looks like an enjoyable watch and I'm interested to see if I'm right about where the future ideas are going to go